Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In most of our previous videos, we have focused on secondary data and how do we process that. But in this video, we are going to look into the primary data. How do we input the primary data into Stata? How do we input the data of questionnaire, label the values, label the variables uh, in Stata? So, so we have this sample questionnaire where uh, let's just say we want to understand the impact of customer satisfaction and customer loyalty on intention to switch. This is just a basic questionnaire. I have tried to keep it simple. Uh, the idea is to, uh, to give you the, uh, the basic understanding how to input the questionnaire data in, in Stata, and then you can utilize that knowledge uh, onto your own uh, research. So we have this occupation variable where we ask whether a person is salaried, businessman or a student. And we have also coded these, uh, these values. So for salary, we would use the code one, for businessman, we would use the code two and so on. Now remember, we want to perform certain quantitative tasks. We want to perform certain quantitative analysis. For that, we would have to convert these categorical variables into numbers. Uh, so we, we have coded them, right? So similarly, gender is coded as one or two, one for female and two for female. You can do any type of coding, it doesn't matter. Uh, but for this case, we have done uh, uh, this kind of coding. We have this age, which is the, in number of years, it isn't categorical variable. Then we have uh, around 10 questions and uh, each, uh, they are clustered around each variable. So for example, customer satisfaction would have three questions. Then customer loyalty would have four items and uh, intention to switch again would have three items. And they are all on five scale uh, liquid, right? So let me show you the data. I have already generated a random data. We have the occupation variable. We have the data over here. Remember three would stand for students, two would stand for businessmen and one for the salaried person. We have this age variable, which isn't uh, categorical gender and then we have these 10 questions now remember the downside of excel is that it can show you one value so for example if we have entered uh, one over here it it would give us the value of one it wouldn't tell us what is the you know meaning of one or what is the uh, the value behind one but that isn't the case with stata or spss or with other, uh, you know, statistical packages. They have two layers where there is a numerical layer, right? And then there is, which we call value labels, uh, sorry, values. And then we have labels on these values, right? I'll get to this in a minute. In column A, we have serial number. This is the number of the respondent. So we have around 50 respondent. Uh, it's better to have serial numbers. So let's just say you found some error with this respondent number four. You can quickly find the serial number and these serial numbers are also written on the question questionnaires themselves, the hard copies. And we can quickly identify the error, go back to the questionnaire and find out. Okay, so let's uh, move to Stata. So I have opened Stata. First, I need to input or import the data. So I would click on file, then import Excel spreadsheet because the data we have is in Excel spreadsheet. If your data is in CSV file or tax delimited file, then you would use this option. By the way, it can also import data saved uh, as SPSS uh, file, data file. Okay, browse, uh, we have our data saved in this excel file we know that the first row would have variable names we would check this box click ok and we have all the questionnaires imported in our uh, uh, stata 
Okay. So the uh, the main window that we would be working with is variable manager. We can open variable manager from the, this icon. Click on variable manager. We would have this variable manager. What it does is it shows all the variables that we have in our data set. We can perform multiple tasks and in case of questionnaires, it is quite handy tool. So what we can do is we can change the name of the variable. We can give them a meaningful label. We can change the type, the format, add value labels or add note to each specific variables. Or if we wanted, we can add a note to whole uh, data set, right? If, if you are working in collaboration with other authors, it might become handy to add some notes. Okay. Now one thing, uh, Let's add label to this serial number. Let's call it serial number. These labels are uh, important because they tell uh, the, the user, the viewer or the other authors that are working on the same project that what this SN variable or this SN column represents, what this data is. We clicking apply and you would quickly notice that the label for serial number have changed. We can similarly perform the changing of label to this occupation variable. Let's call it occupation of respondent. We click apply and you will notice the occupation of the respondent had changed. Now what we wanted to do actually is that let's open the data view. Let's close this window, open the data view and see we are just having these numbers rather than the labels that they have. So we do not know what three would mean. Uh, if we are analyzing it, we, it, it would be important that we know what three means and what, what one would mean here. So we want to give labels to our uh, values, the values that we have in within the variable. So this is the label for a variable. And then we have a value label. So what value labels and labels are, uh, you know, how do we differentiate them? This label is just for the whole variable and these value labels are labels for each value of the variable. So uh, let's come to occupation and we want to add labels. We want to add some text that would, you know, differentiate one from three. So we click on manage create label and let's give this label a name so let's call it occupation label okay now we would write the value so value one and what does value one stands for it stand for salaried so we'd write the label add we have one label so next let's add second one and what Two stands for it stands for businessman let's add this one so we have added the businessman label and what three stands for it stands for uh, student okay so now we have assigned labels to the values right so what one two and three means click OK uh, Okay, so the error we did is that occupation label is not a valid name. Why? Because Stata do not accept spaces between the, the value labels, uh, sorry, the, the label names or the variable names. Click OK. So we have this occupation level uh, label and we can see different levels within it. Let's click close and let's open the data view. We do not see any change. The reason is that we haven't assigned, we just created a label, right? We just created a label, but we didn't assign this occupation label to any variable. What we need to do is we need to click on the variable, which is the relevant one. Let's just say click on occupation. Come here from 
from the drop down menu of value labels and select the label relevant to this variable so let's just say if we had defined the label for gender and question one two and three and for all our categorical variables then we would have a list of value labels and we would choose a value label uh, and assign it to a variable so let's just say in this case we want to assign this value label of occupation to our occupation variable assign it apply and let's move back to the data view now we see that it is blue uh, remember in stata black means numerical data red means string or you know uh, non-numerical data whereas this blue would means that it is a numerical data but it is labeled so here we see that the actual value is three but the value label is student so uh, this this blue means that these this variable would have a value at the back end but it is showing us a label at the front end this is how we interpret it simply so we have the salary would have a value of one businessman would have a value of two okay let's move back let's assign value label to our gender variable so first we first we need to calculate uh, create this label so let's call it gender label we can simply call it gender but i am just uh, to make it different uh, from our gender variable uh, this would have a label of male then we have two and it would have a label of female i am following the consistency over here it can be the other way around whatever coding that you are using with your questionnaire uh, that's what you are going to assign here add click ok so now we have two labels let's click close but we haven't assigned this value label to this gender variable we would come in to this value label drop down menu now we see two labels we do not need to assign occupation label rather we need to assign the gender label we click apply and we have assigned it and we can confirm it from the uh, data view okay let's move back now till now you would think that this whole process of assigning labels is a tedious task and it isn't uh, quite fruitful but imagine uh, these 10 10 uh, variables these 10 items these 10 questions each having the same la label so this variable manager comes in handy because we just need to create one value label and we would assign it to each of these questions so let's create one uh, more value label and let's call it let's say liquid if you have different questionnaires different questions at different liquid scale then you can call it liquid 5 liquid 7 liquid 7 3 or so on and so forth so the value of 1 let me copy it from the questionnaire the value of 1 represents strongly disagree the value of 2 represents disagree then we have 3 so i have quickly entered these labels let's click ok we have a new value labels let's assign it to the variables so let's assign this liquid to this variable click apply then we assign it to another variable and so now you would have got an idea how easy it is to assign labels to our variables you can also select all these instead of selecting them one by one select all the variables select the value label assign it to the all the variables then click apply and you would notice that all the uh, variables have got the labels and now let's uh, look at the data manager and we have uh, completed the data entering process one more 
nice feature of this uh, variable manager is that we can quickly search the the variable from this filter or we can uh, you know uh, sort them using uh, uh, these uh, these types formats value labels and if so in this case it isn't uh, quite a handy tool but uh, if if we had quite a lot of questions then the sorting can be handy to quickly identify the variable of interest thanks for watching this video uh, we would have more videos related to uh, these questionnaires or primary data analysis